YouTube, <laughs> what's good, man? It's your boy Swain, and I'm back with another video, fellas. But what's special about today is, man, is that it's my birthday. You know what I'm saying? Your boy just turned 30. So, you know, wish me some happy birthday, love, man. If you're, if you're not following me, follow me on Instagram at trulyindigenous underscore, man. I will follow you back. But your boy just turned to big 3-0 today, man. So I thought I'm going to take this day of my birthday to make an interesting video that can help my younger guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, women's life start at 18 years old, fellas. And men, our life starts at 30. Now, I'm not just saying this because I turned 30 today. I'm saying this because it's actually true. A woman is in our prime, fellas, when they are younger. From about 18 to 35, that's a woman's prime. This is why a lot of the times when we are younger, we're in our teens, especially for my younger guys right now, you're 21, 22. There's probably some chicks in your life that you want to deal with, that you want to talk to, and she's curving you. See, she's curving you right now, fellas, because she's on her high horse, bro. She's on her high horse as far as her looks. Her sexual market value is higher than yours at this moment in time because you have not, the average guy has not accumulated anything by 22, 23, 24, even 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? Men, we get better as we get older. So because her sexual market value is rated higher than yours at her earlier ages in life, such as 18, 19, 20 years old, she has an air about herself, an arrogance about herself, and she curves you. But I'm here to tell you, fellas, that that shit will come to an end because she will hit the wall. As women get older, their looks start to plummet, right? Men, for whatever reason, our looks last a lot longer, especially if you are a black male. And, you know, um, not to be racist, racist or anything. I'm not on here, you know, um, trying to talk down on other races, but I'm just simply stating facts. Um, white women age faster than anybody else. Anybody else. So, like I'm saying, this video is for my guys who are white, who are black, or any race you are. I'm here to let you know that, fellas, your upside is a lot greater than hers is. You know what I'm saying? See, what happens is, fellas, is that... A woman gets older and she starts to come off her high horse because reality hits her in the face and when it hits her, it hits her hard. But see, if you a guy that's on your purpose, this is why I preach being on your purpose and grinding and becoming better. Fellas, you know what I'm saying? This is a gynocentric world. So when they tell you that you know you gotta have everything by 30, that's a woman's lifestyle because she's racing against a biological clock. At 35 years old, a woman is facing geriatric pregnancies but at 35 years old for a man, you're just at the start of your prime. You got a whole nother 20 year run ahead of you if you take care of yourself. You're taking care of yourself, you in the gym, you're building wealth, you're accumulating assets. You are very, very um, solid at this point in your life if you have done these things, fellas. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of men don't do this and this is why it's a lot harder for them. You know, I want y'all to think about Kanye West, for example. Everybody's shitting on Kanye West right now for you know dating this young chick but see i don't have a problem with older men dating younger women because it makes sense i'm gonna tell you why it makes sense you a guy in your prime you 37 38 years old you in the gym you handsome money in the bank why would you not date a woman when she's in her prime and most women are in their prime the average woman is in her prime the best she'll ever look is in her early 20s it's in her early 20s. And this is why a lot of the times, guys, you see a lot of older men dating younger women because they have worked and built themselves up to be in their prime. Now that they in their prime, it only makes sense for me to date a woman that's in her prime as well. But see, because society is gynocentric, they shame this and they tell you that you shouldn't do this. And, you know, everything is geared for the woman. And why in the fuck would I be 45 years old and, and I'm looking good, I'm handsome, I'm in shape, I'm, I'm, I got money, I'm rich. Why in the fuck would I go get another 45-year-old ass woman that's been used up, probably got three or four kids, two baby daddies, overweight? Why would I fuck with that? I I, I put in all this work all these years to become a successful male, and now I got to date a, a chick that got used up by dudes who she perceived as alpha in her younger years. And when I wanted to talk to her, she curved me because she thought I wasn't shit because I haven't accumulated anything. Fellas, don't be one of these dudes, man. There's nothing wrong with dating younger women as you get older. And this is why, you know, uh, usually younger women date older men because she's in her prime and she can attract the highest value of male, which is which is a guy who's in his prime. And a lot of the times for most men, that's in your later years. This is why I say turning 30, guys, is the beginning. Listen, I am 30 years old and I feel like I'm 21. 
I just realized who I was two years ago. And I'm still building. I still got a whole life ahead of me to do whatever the fuck I want to do. So my God, so my fellas, man, my gods, let me go ahead and just say that my gods, so that's what y'all are. Y'all are young gods. You 21, 22, 23 years old, bro, you young. You 25 years old, you young as fuck. Your life is going, you're going to hit the reset button all over again at 30. I promise you, you are. See, use your 20s to get as much experience as you can. See, most of the time, this is what happens for guys in their 20s. Either they priorities are in or on, or on the right track, so they gain a lot of money and wealth, or their priorities are not in the right place, so they make a lot of dumb mistakes, but on the back end, they gain a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and experience. Both are very valuable, fellas, because if you're gaining money in your 20s, you can build a beautiful life for yourself. You could be a young, rich, handsome guy at a very young age, man. But let's just say you didn't and it didn't work out that way for you. Because it didn't work out that way for me. You know, because I was chasing women in my 20s. And I told y'all, I'm transparent. In my earlier 20s, I was chasing women. I wasn't focused. I wasn't building shit. I wasn't focused on anything, but I made a lot of fucking mistakes. And because I made a lot of mistakes, fellas, I've gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom. So here I am now at 30 years old, still able to do the same shit I was able to do at 21. But now I have the knowledge that I didn't have at 21. Now I'm building. You know what I'm saying? So by the time I'm 35, 36, which is still a very, very young man, very young man, I'm going to have the world in my hands, right? Because I'm on path for that right now. And see, and that's why I make these videos is because I want guys to understand that, bro, you do not have to get caught up in what society tells you as far as what you got to have by 25, what you got to have by 30 years old. You are not a woman. Women have a biological clock that they are racing against time. And because the world is gynocentric, like I said, this is the parameter of which they set for all human beings when it's not that way. Men, our sexual market value lifespan is much longer than women's. You know what I'm saying? It is much longer than women's because women will hit that wall. They peak way earlier than we do. This is why, fellas, here I... Okay, so I'm 30 years old. I just turned 30 today, like I said, man. And I'm not old, right? That's still very young. There are women who are two, three years younger than me who peaked when they were 20, 21. Right now, they are hella overweight. Nowhere near as attractive as they were when they, we were in college and high school. And you can start to see that they are a lot more humble now because, baby girl, check it out. You're not a hot commodity anymore. See, the dudes that you shamed, the dudes that you shitted on, the dudes that you didn't want, you know what I'm saying? You 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 shitted on them and they went and they, they got better. They improved. Now you got all used up by all the dudes you wanted and now they don't want you no more. You know what I'm saying? Now you shitted on the dudes who are somebody. Now you sitting there just looking dumbfounded as a motherfucker. A lot of the time, this is what happened in society, fellas, because our sexual market value lifespan is much longer than women's. Your upside is much greater. This is why I say I would never get in a serious relationship. Here's my advice to my 20-year-old guys, my guys who are 18, 19, and 20. Do not get into a committed, serious relationship in your 20s. Don't, because you are not at your best yet, bro. You can attract a much more higher value woman in your later years because the asset and time is going to be put in the work is going to be put in i am much more handsome now than i was when i was 21 years old and when i was 19 years old now i want you to ask the average woman that is she much more attractive at 35 at 30 years old than she was at 18 and 19 the average woman fuck no she's not the average woman she's definitely not because she peaks a lot earlier you know what i'm saying so, fellas, it's very important that we know this is men because what it does is it saves you mentally. It It's very, very I told y'all, it's, it's men's health uh, month, so I definitely got to tap in with the mental health. It's very, very um, crucial that you understand this for the uh, sanity and the um, mental space that you are in this is very good for your mental health to know these types of things because guys when you are in your head about shit things that don't exist and you have these these fictitious thoughts about what reality really is you compare your life to to the cap and because you compare your life to the cap you end up chasing things that never exist or which are never supposed to be i mean when i was 23 24 actually when i turned about 27 i was like oh shit i'm gonna be 30 i'm gonna be 30 oh shit oh shit i'm gonna be 30 
not knowing that a man at 30 is equivalent to a woman at 18. And I'm not talking about the men the mental um because you know they like to say women are, are more advanced. I'm not talking about the mental aspect, fellas. I'm talking about your sexual market value, your SMV. You are a much more um better candidate as a man as you get older. You're gonna be better at 35 than you were at 30. You're better at 30 than you were at 20. It's the total opposite with women. So I just wanted to make this video, man, because I wanted I wanted my guys to understand the importance of aging as a man as long as you are putting in the work because you are working for better days. I have friends, man, workout guys, workout uh, bros that I work out with at the gym in their 50s who are living a much more, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Their life is much more... Um, I just say they live in a better quality of life in their 50s than they were in their 30s. Now, I'm not talking about the average guy that sits on the couch throughout his 20s and throughout his 30s and gain all this fucking weight, don't have any ambition, hasn't built a business, hasn't built any strong, solid relationships with uh, business partners or business relationships, or anything like that. And then you think you're going to be better at 30 or at 40 than you were at 20. Hell no, you're not because you didn't put in the work. But a man that puts in the work, I'm telling you right now, your life is going to be a lot better as you get older, man. It's going to be a lot better. And your 30s is the foundation for the rest of your life, fellas. So my guys right now, let's just say you went throughout your 20s and you didn't get in shape. You didn't build your physique up. You smoked, you drank, you, you did all of the bullshit. It's okay. Because now you can hit that reset button at 30, but it only gets harder as you get older because the testosterone levels start to drop, which is why I think that men should look into TRT. And I'm going to do a video about that, which is um, testosterone replacement treatment, you know, and society will tell you that it's unhealthy, but it's very, very healthy because so many things in our life are have a negative effect against our testosterone. But that's a different video for another day. But what I'm saying is that, fellas, 30 is the beginning, man. You can really, really build yourself to be the man you want to be. You have time. But the thing is, you have to put yourself in a position and you have to have the mindset. You have to know you have it before you have it. And you have to know you are there before you are there. You know what I'm saying? But that's it for the video, fellas. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. Until next time.